A vacuum for your office, home, or RV? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This is the Tokmok T200 cordless vacuum cleaner. And if you look at it and you're familiar with this sort of vacuum cleaner, they all kind of look alike. This looks like the Dyson and a number of other companies that have the whole vacuum assembly on your hand. And then you can connect a variety of different tools so that you can get a different shape or style of vacuum depending on what your needs are. Now, this one is actually pretty cool. It has a couple of design hiccups, which we'll get to, but overall, there's lots to like about this. Not the least of which is that it actually works. So not only does it work, there's a control on the back, and that gives you the ability to choose between two powers. And how powerful is this? Well, let's give it a couple of quick tests. First off, you can pick up that box, and this one's a little heavier. And you can pick this up for reasons I can't explain. The design has that hole, so you don't get full suction. But then again, it's not really designed for that. So to be fair, that is so that when you put a tool in or you put this bar in, you then have that button so you can take it out again. So really pretty solid design here. This has two strength levels and vacuum suction is measured in pascals. And this at its regular level is 11,000 pascals or 22,000 at max. So you use it at regular level, probably with this and then this carpet beater, which we'll demo in a second. Um, and then you use max when you're in a really messy, dirty environment, or you just can't seem to pull in the dust, dirt, hair, whatever it is you're trying to pick up. So has a 2200 milliamp hour battery in it, which means that at regular vacuum performance, you're getting somewhere about 25 minutes before you have to charge it again. And if you're using it at maximum suction, it's kind of low, it's 11 minutes of suction. So that's plenty enough for you to clean your car out and maybe clean out around the eating area in your RV. But you know, you might find if you're gonna try to use this setup to like vacuum all of your condo or apartment, it might be a two recharge job. <laughs> So, one of the things that's nice about it is it does have a HEPA filter. So, pop this off, take this off, and this is a four-stage HEPA filter, which you can actually rinse or wash out as needed. And that's really important because if you don't have something like this, when you vacuum, you end up just pushing dirt around and then it goes back into your environment and that's not healthy for you or anyone you're living with or anything. So I'm gonna put this aside since we're done with it. And so it's a four stage HEPA sealed filtration system. This whole unit weighs about two pounds. As you can see, I can easily pick this up with two fingers. It is a little confusing. There's a couple of design oddities here. One of which is you have this sort of triggery thing, right? It looks like a trigger from a gun or something, but in fact, all the controls are on this back panel. Easy enough to work with, but it might be a little disconcerting if you're expecting to like, you know, use this as like a trigger to turn the vacuum on and off. It just doesn't work that way. Now, one of the other fun things is that this also has LED lights on the very front. Now, I've been trying to figure out do you actually vacuum in the dark? I don't, but I think their logic is if it's a dark corner, you'll have illumination. <laughs> so let's jump into some action footage of this carpet attachment and see how it works. And then I'll come right back. You've seen this in action and it's pretty solid. I've talked about one of the design oddities, which is that there's a sort of trigger design, but it's not actually a trigger. Here's another one that's a bit surprising is the way you charge it. So comes with a charging wall charger, right? And a decently long cord and it plugs in. But here's what's confusing is that they have this nice little wall mount that you can use so you can store it on your wall. But 
I thought that it would have charging like metal or something and you'd plug this in and then it would charge easily anytime you put it on the mount. That's not true. There is a small charging receptacle here with a little red rubber top and you plug it in here, plug it into the wall and now it's charging and you're getting the feedback on the top of what's going on. I find this a rather clumsy way to charge it and I wish that that for example was here and maybe didn't even have a cover on it. I appreciate that they have the cover on it because it makes it cleaner and then you don't have to worry about dirt in there but getting into here versus like just putting it there obviously there's a usability issue and then further having this as a way to charge it which would basically just involve a couple of metal plates here or something so that it could receive the charge that would be nice too are these crises are these reasons not to get it no actually they're just things to know when you do get this and you want to actually start using it that you are going to be fiddling with charging and my guess is a lot of people will end up just pulling this red rubber lid off and that's okay. It feels like that's not going to affect anything whatsoever. And then it'll be that much easier to charge. But all in all, lots to like here. This is a really solid, small, portable, wireless, cordless vacuum that you could easily have like charging in your garage. And then when you need it, you just pull it off the charger and vacuum away whatever vehicle or boat you might have or anything. I guess you don't really vacuum motorcycles, <laughs> maybe the sidecar. <laughs> and for a condo or an apartment, if it's a small enough space, this could work great. I don't know that I would want to use this setup to be vacuuming, you know, 1500 square feet of carpet that might get a little tedious but again that's probably not what this is really designed for now i also want to point out that it comes with all these accessories so you get this very nicely designed carpet attachment with its own wheels and it's super maneuverable you get this i guess crevice attachment and again there are little tiny holes on the sides and i guess they do that in case you get stuck and it's not going to cause the motor to overheat I don't know. And then this one's really fun because you have this sort of upholstery one, but then you push and now you have another crevice style tool. So I like this sort of two in one and they should all fit and be attached on this, depending on how you have it configured. So the whole thing's really self-contained. And if you mount this right by a wall plug, you can leave this and just leave the wire basically hanging over the mount. And then you plug it in when you put it back and a glance at the top will tell you if it's fully charged and then you can unplug it and it's ready for your next vacuuming adventure. Ooh, who doesn't like vacuuming, right? Super fun. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, only thing left to talk about is the price, but before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Give me some feedback too, thumbs up, thumbs down if you really have to, but give me a comment on what you wish I would have demonstrated or talked about with this vacuum. And of course, all subscriptions and subscribes are much appreciated. It's that little red button you clack or, <laughs> click or tap. You don't clack it unless you really want to. But in any case, subscribe, really appreciate that. Great, this whole setup, except, except this box, this box is unrelated, but everything else you see here is the Tokmok T200 cordless vacuum, and it's $199, but when I checked, there was a $30 discount available, making it a pretty solid $169.99 at amazon.com. Definitely worth checking out. If your car, if your RV, if your condo or apartment or office is looking a little bit dirty or dusty, then this could be a great solution for you. So with that, I'm gonna get back to vacuuming my rug, which means I'll catch you in my next video.